Well, in the Bible, that's the terms that we use, but in the Bible, there's no, um, the guys who read Greek and they tell us about the original language, they say that um, in the Bible it uses word demonized. It doesn't have word oppressed or possessed, not just the words that were invented in America to help people in America swallow this issue of deliverance with less pain. Because in other countries, possessed, depressed, oppressed, oppressed, depressed, doesn't matter. I got a demon, get it out of me. But in here, everybody so has to walk on eggshells because if you use word possessed on a Christian, then he is not a genuine Christian or he's just faking. He doesn't have a demon because he has a real Christian. Only in Western culture where supernatural has been rejected, mocked, made fun of, these kind of, you know, fears exist. Anything outside of America, go across America to Mexico. That stuff doesn't exist there. Most of you have been to Mexico, uh, trips, uh, missionaries, you saw even Christian people, you're laying hands on them, demon coming out, and all of your ideas that demons shouldn't come out of Christian people go outside of the window. What, what should they do when the demons are manifesting? Should you keep them in? Of course not. You got to get them out. And so we see Jesus casting out of demons, but the, mostly they were out of Jewish Orthodox who believed in there's one God. People, they, they were good people. Not all the time demons came out with puking, throwing up. But if it happens with the manifestation, that's better. Because it's more evident that this is taking place. But there are people who get free by feeling something came out of them people sometimes feel like a weight was lifted others cough things through sometimes people have I mean we've seen where people begin to cough off you know uh, throw up with things that you look at that and I remember we were praying for one person and and I was looking I was like if I'm gonna look at that one more time I'm gonna join him <laughs> because it was so nasty but then you see those people leukemia was cured right after that cancers were cured one guy four mental disorders wow. completely free after he got delivered. So for us when it comes to issue of deliverance this is not a topic for discussion. This is life or death. I mean almost every person on this stage that's sitting here had to go through their own deliverance where physically demons were coming out and speaking out and some of the, some of us were still in actually in the leadership position. What was happening? The same thing that's happening in the churches all over the America and the world today. A leader but has one area out of his life out of control called pornography. A leader, one area out of his life out of control called depression or sickness. And so Holy Spirit comes and he brings the deliverance. So do not focus on that. I mean, I just came uh, from uh, City Hill on Tuesday and a person came up to me. I'm not going to disclose the, the details. Um, I feel completely normal outside of the church. The moment I come inside of the church, hot for no reason. It's cold, but I'm like... <laughs> just like this and she's like and I'm a I'm a believer I, I'm not a, like a bad person I love to pray I love to worship I want to grow in Christ like, something starts twisting in my stomach and I'm like huh. I'm like and I added a few more things to that she's like exactly exactly what is that I'm like this it's a devil <laughs> she's like can we you know can you pray for me and I was like mm, not sure I can do it here <laughs> so but I'm like you have to come for our prayer line and I'm like and most importantly you have to understand not that you have a devil it's that you have to understand is the spiritual world is real and that God has freedom for you for that you have to believe in that not just this is not just like oh my gosh something is twisting and turning get rid of it out of me this has to be an understanding I've seen that in the first hand uh, in the life of my wife the moment we got married um, she started developing nightmares every three to four days sometimes on extreme days uh, extreme weeks it was every two days there was nightmares and I'm talking about nightmares not just the nightmares that a few days later I found out she had a nightmare but a nightmares where I would wake up because she is crying during the night and so I didn't tell these things actually almost nobody there's only a few people in the church who knew about this and so and I would ask him like what's going on and so she said nothing like that ever happened before and then she had a very difficult time connecting to people in the church I just blamed it on the fact that you know this is a church I grew up and she's not in here but it was a spiritual problem I tried to fix it by other things like maybe convince her sister to move here convince other things to make those things go away but they didn't go away things affected also in her work every job she picked up she was always not happy with it she started school didn't know what she was doing always confused and and then one day you know I was suggesting her that this is not a normal problem this is a spiritual problem she did go through the prayer line and everything but then at one particular time Holy Spirit made it to understand to her that it's a spirit of loneliness and so it wasn't a special prayer we prayed but after that 50% of the battle was already won the moment she recognized it's a demon 
and it's a devil trying to destroy her life and we started to pray together anytime she would have a nightmare or something like that we agreed together and we just simply said this thing is going to be out sooner or later but this is not going to be in our life you know within a within a time all those nightmares stopped her life began to change she's she began to fall in love with other girls she begins to bring her home group is growing and her she enjoys her job she she has a sense of focus sense of fulfillment i saw a life changed right in front of my eyes with her and so for me i know that it's very real same thing for so for many of our leaders and so people are needing help and deliverance is not a topic to be debated it's a topic that needs to be digested and we need to help hurting people who are suffering from nightmares who can sit at church everything is fine they can sit and watch a movie seven hours long without blinking their eye but two minutes in the church and something moves and they begin to faint they begin to get cold they begin to get hot it's not that they're not bad people they're just suffering or same thing with nightmares excruciating nightmares sexual dreams chronic diseases you got rid of one disease another one came in constant accidents it's like you're just recovering from one accident boom you got another one always financial lack phobias and depression or mental problems all of these are signs of demonic activity constant breaking down in the family unit anywhere you look everyone is either being divorced coming out of divorce or broken relationships this does not mean you're a bad person it means you're a good person who needs to fight a spiritual warfare instead of avoiding it and digging your head into the sand pretending it doesn't exist